The issue of race, the problem of race, is as old as the republic itself. You don't need to know the story. It is an unbelievable history, unbelievable struggle to bring us to the point where we are today. Just think. From the days of slavery through a period of segregation and racial discrimination, there's been this ongoing effort to be reconciled, to create a truly interracial democracy. It is good to be here, and it's good to see the two of you bring us together. It's good to be here with Dorothy Hyde, someone I've known for many, many years. Just think, a few short years ago, when I first came to Washington, D.C., 47 years ago, 21 years old, in 1961, 13 of us, seven whites, six blacks, to get on a Greyhound bus, a trailway bus, and travel together from Washington, D.C. through Virginia, or North Carolina, South Carolina, Georgia, Alabama, Mississippi, and to New Orleans. We would be beaten, arrested, jailed. That was just a few short years ago. When I was growing up in rural Alabama, I saw those signs that said white men, colored men, white women, colored women, white waiting, colored waiting. We tasted the bitter fruits of racism, and we didn't like it. I felt the stains like so many other, the stains of segregation and racial discrimination. And even today, the stain of racism is still deeply embedded in every corner of the American society. We cannot deny the fight that we'll come a distance. We made some progress, yes. And for those people who say we have not made any progress, I say, come and walk in my shoes. The signs that I saw as a young child growing up, they're gone and they will not return. The only place our young people are going to see those signs today will be on a video, in a museum, or in a book. Bill and Janet, I was just thinking a few short years ago, when I was very young, 15 years old in the 10th grade, I heard about Rosa Parks, Dorothy. I heard the words of Martin Luther King Jr. on the radio. And the action of Rosa Parks and the words of Dr. King and the leadership of this man inspired me to find a way to get in the way because my parents had told me, my grandparents and great-grandparents, don't get in trouble. Don't get in the way. I got in the way. I got in trouble. It was good trouble. <laughs> and Bill and Jenny, I want to thank you by bringing us together. You're getting in trouble. It is good trouble, it is necessary trouble to take us much further down that road to create a truly interracial democracy in America where we can lay down the burden of race.